Yo, what's going on good people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy LLB. I hope we're all having a really great day. Gunner's album's dropped, man. If you haven't heard it yet, it is fire. Like, I really like this album. And yeah, the beats are just kind of different. They're not all too samey. There's a lot of variation in there. There's a lot of guitars in there. You guys know me. I like to put my guitars in my beats. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, man. I'm going to be cooking up a Gunner style beat for that album. Something a bit different, something a bit more up-tempo, emotional. A lot of the beats in his new album are kind of more up-tempo. They're not the standard, like, 118, 120 beats that I normally make. So yeah, it's going to be a fun one, man. Before we get into it, though, if you haven't already jumped on the chambers bundle kit make sure you do so it's the second link in the description basically every beat that i've made within the last like four to six weeks have all been from the chambers bundle kit the last tutorials everything but yeah let's just get into this one all right let's try and find some nice uh, chord progression for this should probably tune the guitar first it's probably a good idea one all right man that's sounding sick i actually got some really good takes in there to the point where like i got most of it on beat when you play melodies in live it's kind of good sometimes to leave it off beat it kind of gives it a nice swing so i'll clean this up a little bit yeah let's go spice up this guitar right now add some cool effects to it first thing i want to do is take the initial chord so this part of the melody okay i'm going to run that through its own bus and then i'm going to run the other two top lines which was these two Okay, those two top lines, they're gonna go through a separate bus, but then I'm gonna run everything through one guitar bus, if that makes sense. Got the initial guitar right here, then we got the top line, and then both of these are gonna run, you can see the green line right here. They both run into this guitar bus, so I can add like some good effects to them as a whole. Then we've got a nice cohesive loop. So yeah, let's go in with the initial chords first. I'm gonna add some EQ to them right here. Get rid of some of that low end. Nice, and then around 300 hertz is where you normally get some boxy frequencies. So I'm just gonna dampen off on that. Add a bit of brightness up here. Okay, that's enough. And then we're going to come in with some compression. Going to come with the Puget Child. And then we're going to come in with some reverb. I'm, going, I'm actually going to use the Valhalla. And this is called Preset, which is rooms, tiled room. It just makes it sat like it's in like a chambered room as opposed to just like a plate reverb. Subtle, but it's nice. And that's all I'm going to do with those main ones. Adding too many effects can make the sample sound worse sometimes. So you don't want to overdo it. But yeah, now I'm going to come in with the top line. First thing I'm going to do is add some EQ. And instead of just taking out a bit of a low end, I'm actually going to take out quite a lot this time. Leave a little pocket for the main guitar, you know. Okay, that sounded good. And then we're going to add some more compression as well. And the reason why I'm adding two compressors is because the initial chords are played at a lower frequency and they tend to be louder. So the compressor isn't really going to do anything to these top line melodies unless I add them separately. Nice. And then for the top lines, we're going to add a bit more effects, you know, just give it a bit more movement. Add some delay. We get some chorus to it as well and i found like a really cool way to get a nice chorus out of the effect rack is actually by using the echo boy set it to normal click on this time button right here turn the echo all the way down to zero and then go to like space or cheap or just decide whichever one sounds good for you but i like to go with space and then yeah just mess around with the mix Yeah, that sounds clean. Now, one thing I've just heard and I think will sound sick is if I kind of reverse some of these notes into each other. I think I'm going to use this top melody. I think I'm going to use that one. I'm just going to stack it on top of the other one. Make, make it unique. Reverse it. Just going to set these back to front so that everything is in order again. But I'm going to rearrange this a little bit more so they can like lead into each other a bit cleaner. Yeah, that's sick. I like that. So now that I've got both of those affected, I'm going to go into that main guitar bus and I'm just going to add some subtle effects. So first thing we're going to come in with is some J37. Just add some tape saturation to this. Mm 
sounding clean and I'm also gonna add a tiny bit more compression but I'm gonna come in with the CLA 76 for that clean all right, man, I'm gonna add a couple more VSTs, man. Spice this up even more. Maybe add some nice atmospheric sounds. Gonna like those kind of atmospheric kind of sounds in his beats. Expand actually has got some really cool atmospheric sounds. Yeah, something like that. Sounds like kind of like windy, yeah. Martian winds, there you go. Just put that into the mixer though, just really drown it out. Just pan this thing from left to right. All right, let's add some keys. Like that, just subtle, and then we're gonna add like a little, a little simple top line as well. Yeah, just something like that. All right, one more there, man. I think the last thing we wanna add to this is just a little vocal to give this a bit more life, you know. La, 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 la. Well, that's nice. Just get rid of that bit right there. Add some EQ to that. Some reverb. And then maybe we could find another one for the second half. Maybe that one. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> yeah, that is sounding super clean. I've just given this a quick arrangement and I'm done with the loop, man. So I'm just going to bounce this thing out and then we're going to add some of those Gunner drums. First thing I'm going to do before I add the drums is just play with the pitch of this melody. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. All right, then, man. Let's go in with some drums. Enough for Gunners mixtape. But the hi hats are kind of kind of switch up a little bit. Like they're not all the samey. But the key for these beats are the sound selection. Like a lot of the beats are similar in terms of like the bounce, but they sound different because of the sound selection. So I'm gonna come into the chambers kit and just find some unique sounds instead of just the normal trap ones. Something like that. We'll start with the two step, and then with the second hi hat. We'll add in some random chops here and there just to give it a bit of a different bounce. Kind of like that, you know? But then let's go for the clap. And then a snare. But with the snare, I'm just going to stack it on top of the clap. Maybe add a couple extra ones to give it some more bounce. Yeah, like that snare. Copy and paste. I'm gonna try and put these in more like obscure places, not just like the standard trap snare placement. And then we'll add like a counter snare, just something a little bit different to switch up the switch up the sound selection. Something like that. Just simple though. Open hat. Yeah, something like that. I might shorten it a little bit. Simple as well with the open hat. I don't think it needs much else. Perks and stuff, maybe, but I honestly don't think it needs a whole lot. The bounce is there. Yeah, let's go with the 808. I also kind of noticed in Gunnar's album that the 808s are kind of long tail. It's kind of different to what he normally goes for, especially when Weezy's producing him. So yeah, I'm going to go for like a long tail 808. Something like that. Thumpy, but it's got a long tail to it. Chambers 8281 coming in clutch. Yeah, sounding pretty hard right now. I think the last thing to come in with is a kick. Yeah, 
yeah, just simple like that. Keep it repetitive, keep it easy to follow. All right, did a quick rookie mistake, but it's okay. I uh, just put one of the 808s out of key. I think it was the last 808. Yeah, it was just note down here. I had it like that, but yeah. Easily done. Though it's all fixed. And yeah, I think we got a full beat, man. Nice and catchy. First verse. Yeah, it's clean, man. I like it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, man. You guys let me know what you think of that beat in the comments, man. I think it sounded pretty good. I like the uh, the electric guitar, some of the layers, especially the vocals. Like, they sounded, like, super clean. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's one, man. Make sure you go ahead and jump on the Chambers Bundle Kit if you haven't done so already. It's the second link in the description. All the sounds that I used to make this beat are in the Chambers Kit. But yeah, I hope you all have a great, great day, and I'll see you in the next one.